providing only 20% video as a part of promotion. For remaining 80%, that is 6 to 8 articles, current affairs video and general studies complete videos, please subscribe to our complete package. 1. Operation begins to curb money laundering, terror funding. GS Paper 3, Indian Economy, Money Laundering, Terror Funding. Why recently in news? Government agencies have launched a massive National Risk Assessment, NRA, exercise to identify the sectors that are susceptible to money laundering and terror funding, and plug the loopholes. This is in line with the Financial Action Task Force, FATF, recommendations. While India has met its obligation of mutual evaluation with FATF, it is now required to make a risk assessment and put necessary mechanisms in place. As part of the process, the World Bank had earlier this month made a customizable Excel-based self-assessment software tool available to Indian agencies about national risk assessment exercise. The NRA exercise generally takes about a year. It begins with the collection of data on sectors that are prone to money laundering in high, medium and lower categories at the national level. The country then has to prepare an action plan based on the level of risk. It focuses on all vital aspects of money laundering, including terror financing risks, and helps identify threats and vulnerabilities in different sectors. Real estate emerged as one of the sectors requiring urgent intervention. About Financial Action Task Force The Financial Action Task Force, FATF, is an intergovernmental body established in 1989. The objectives of the FATF are to set standards and promote effective implementation of legal, regulatory and operational measures for combating money laundering, terrorist financing and other related threats to the integrity of the international financial system. In collaboration with other international stakeholders, the FATF works to identify national-level vulnerabilities, with the aim of protecting the international financial system from misuse. Money laundering Money laundering involves disguising financial assets, so that they can be used without detection of the illegal activity that produced them. Through money laundering, the launderer transforms the monetary proceeds derived from criminal activity into funds with an apparently legal source. The most common types of criminals who need to launder money are drug traffickers, embezzlers, corrupt politicians and public officials, mobsters, terrorists and con artists. Every year, billions of dollars are derived from drug trade and are then reinvested throughout the world by otherwise legitimate businessmen, accountants and bankers. The basic money laundering process has three steps. 1. Placement. This is the first stage in the washing cycle. Money laundering is a cash-intensive business, generating vast amounts of cash from illegal activities, for example, Street dealing of drugs where payment takes the form of cash in small denominations. The monies are placed into the financial system or retail economy or are smuggled out of the country. The aims of the launderer are to remove the cash from the location of acquisition so as to avoid detection from the authorities and to then transform it into other asset forms, for example, travelers' checks, postal orders, etc. 2. Layering In the course of layering, there is the first attempt at concealment or disguise of the source of the ownership of the funds by creating complex layers of financial transactions designed to disguise the audit trail and provide anonymity. 
The purpose of layering is to disassociate the illegal monies from the source of the crime by purposely creating a complex web of financial transactions aimed at concealing any audit trail as well as the source and ownership of funds. Typically, layers are created by moving monies in and out of the offshore bank accounts of bearer share shell companies through electronic funds transfer. AFT. 3. Integration. The final stage in the process. It is this stage at which the money is integrated into the legitimate economic and financial system and is assimilated with all other assets in the system. Integration of the clean money into the economy is accomplished by the launderer making it appear to have been legally earned. By this stage, it is exceedingly difficult to distinguish legal and illegal wealth. 2. France commits 300 million euros for solar energy. GSP per 2. Bilateral agreements, India-France ties. Why recently in news? French President Francois Holland on Monday committed 300 million euros, around 325 million dollars or hours, 2,200 crore, over the next five years for the global development of solar energy. Mr. Holland said after inaugurating the Interim Secretariat of the International Solar Alliance at Gurgaon. The real challenge was to attract investments worth a trillion dollars to promote the renewable source. The French president said he would like to open a new chapter to help give countries with no resources, other than the sun an opportunity to produce electricity for meeting the needs of most of their people. International Solar Alliance India and France have launched International Solar Alliance ISA, at the Conference of Parties COP21, Climate Conference in Paris, France. Aims to bring solar-rich 121 tropical countries located fully or partly between the Tropic of Cancer and Capricorn together to tap solar energy. These tropical countries are potential members of Alliance and shall be united by the shared vision to bring clean, renewable solar energy within the reach of all. The objective of the Alliance is to augment solar power generation in these countries with a view to contribute global sustainable development. It would play important role in achieving the objective of keeping global warming below 2 degrees Celsius. It will function from the Gurgaon-based National Institute of Solar Energy, NISE. Provide common platform to member countries to share collective ambitions to reduce the cost of finance and technology needed harness the solar energy. Alliance would pursue cooperation in training, regulatory issues, building institutions, common standards and investment among the member countries.